Hey everybody, it's Dr. Eric Ball Cavage, and we're back for another edition of Functional Medicine Monday. And today I want to talk about one of the hidden causes of weight gain. Weight gain, putting on weight, being overweight, obesity is a chronic healthcare problem in our country. And most people assume or they're told that the reason that they're overweight is that they eat too much and they don't exercise enough. And that's the underlying cause. And the reality is uh, there are hidden causes of why you're putting on weight. And today I want to talk about one of those, and that is what we call bacterial dysbiosis. So you have about 40 trillion plus organisms living in your GI tract, and there are all kinds of different uh, species of bacteria, and they need to be in a, a, a balance to have good health and well-being. And if there's an imbalance of the normal bacterial flora, we call this dysbiosis. And if there's dysbiosis, one of the things that can happen, especially with a group of bacteria called Formicides, they you wind up absorbing more calories from your diet. So automatically, because of the bacterial load, you wind up just absorbing more calories than the person next to you. And this can lead to, lead to excessive calories, not because you necessarily ate more than you should have, but because you're intaking more calories than you, than you would normally or somebody else might be taking in through their GI tract. So bacterial dysbiosis can cause weight gain by three different ways. The first is the excessive increase of calories that are absorbed because of the overgrowth of this Formicides family of bacteria. The second is that when you have bacterial dysbiosis, that bacterial dysbiosis can lead to inflammation. And chronic inflammation in the body causes us to slow down our thyroid metabolism, which slows down our metabolic rate, the rate that we actually burn calories. And that can also create increased adipose tissue. And increased adipose tissue then causes more inflammation. So inflammation can be a major trigger for why you gain weight. Um, the third is that when you have bacterial dysbiosis, this can lead to a loss of what's called your first phase insulin response. Now the first phase insulin response is key to maintaining appropriate blood sugar levels. If you lose your first phase insulin response, you wind up storing more of your food glucose, the food that's converted to glucose, and that's absorbed, that glucose is absorbed into the bloodstream. If you lose your first phase insulin response, that glucose doesn't get into the muscle tissues where it can be utilized uh, really efficiently for energy, and instead, that excess of glucose goes to production uh, and storage at, in the fat cells. So these are three ways that the bacteria or bacterial dysbiosis can lead to weight gain. Now, what's important to understand is you can have bacterial dysbiosis with symptoms like gas and bloating and constipation, diarrhea and food intolerances, um, or you can have bacterial dysbiosis and no overt GI symptoms. You may have other symptoms outside the GI tract like headaches or migraines or back pain, but not necessarily symptoms you would associate with having a problem in your GI tract. If you've been diagnosed with reflux, you probably have some level of bacterial dysbiosis. If you've been diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome or any condition in the GI tract, you probably have bacterial dysbiosis. If you've taken one round of antibiotics or multiple rounds, of antibiotics, you probably have bacterial just dysbiosis. So what can you do? If you've seen your primary care physician and you're gaining weight and they don't understand why and you've eaten, you started eating less and exercising harder and you're still gaining weight, you might have this condition called bacterial dysbiosis. So what I recommend you do, step one is start eating a whole food diet. Reduce the processed foods. It's the processed foods that typically contribute to the bacterial overgrowth. Second thing to do is look for a functional medicine practitioner like myself who specializes in helping people with GI disorders and get your functional medicine doctor to evaluate your blood chemistry, look at your history to determine if it's likely that you have bacterial dysbiosis going on as a root cause of your chronic weight gain. And the third thing that you can do, and you typically do this through your functional medicine practitioner, is get a functional GI test done to assess 
the function of the GI tract. It'll look at whether you have bacterial imbalance or yeast overgrowth or parasitic overgrowth. It'll give us information whether you have inappropriate biophysiology or pancreatic enzyme output. If you have inflammation in the GI tract, a weakening of your secretory IgA system or your immune system of the GI tract, and whether you have something like gluten intolerance going on. So those are, this is one reason why you may have chronic weight gain uh, despite not eating excessive amount of calories and, act, and exercising regularly, okay? I'll turn this into probably a two or three part video series, so look forward to some more reasons, uh, more of the hidden causes of chronic weight gain, all right? Take care.